time, scientists at the U.S. Geological Survey have mapped the active surface trace of the Rogers Creek Fault through the central part of the northern California city of Santa Rosa. Urban development has, until now, obscured its exact location. Knowing where the fault reaches the ground surface and the total width of the zone of faulting are important for assessing the hazard from surface rupture in a large earthquake. We use detailed topographic imagery from airborne lidar and subsurface imaging from high-resolution geophysical surveys to trace the fault through Santa Rosa, said USGS geologist Suzanne Hecker, lead author of the study. The zone of faulting at the surface is broader and covers an area that extends farther east than previously assumed, which means the surface rupture hazard is more widespread than previously thought. There are subtle fault scarps, the vertical scars left on the landscape from fault motion on the gently sloping floodplain of Santa Rosa Creek on which the city is built that define a surface depression that is one quarter mile wide by one mile long. Scientists also discovered, through analysis of gravity and magnetic data, an especially dense magnetic body of rock below the ground surface on the east side of the scarp defined depression. This dense magnetic body of rock appears to be in contact with the east side of the Rogers Creek Fault, and its northern end is associated with concentrations of small earthquakes, mainly aftershocks from the 1969 magnitude 5.6 and 5.7 Santa Rosa earthquakes. The pattern of surface faulting and earthquake activity may be an expression of deformation resulting from intensified frictional resistance where the fault abuts a dense magnetic body of rock at depth. On the basis of the lidar and geophysical observations and preliminary data from previous studies suggesting a change in the rate of surface creep on the fault in the vicinity of Santa Rosa, USGS scientists speculate that the dense magnetic body of rock may be a stuck patch or asperity on the fault where stress concentrates. A large earthquake on the Rogers Creek fault that ruptures through the proposed asperity has the potential to intensely shake the sedimentary basin beneath Santa Rosa. This basin is already known from an earlier study of the damage in 1969 Santa Rosa and 1906 San Francisco earthquakes to amplify shaking at the ground surface. The Rogers Creek Fault is thought to be among the most likely faults to produce the next large earthquake in the Bay Area. Detailed mapping and rupture implications of the one-kilometer releasing bend in the Rogers Creek Fault at Santa Rosa, Northern California. Airborne light detection and ranging LADAR topography reveals for the first time the trace of the Rogers Creek Fault RCF through the center of Santa Rosa, the largest city in the northern San Francisco Bay Area. Vertical deformation of the Santa Rosa Creek floodplain expresses a composite pull-apart basin beneath the urban cover that is Part of a broader 1 km wide right releasing bend in the fault. High resolution geophysical data illuminate subsurface conditions that may be responsible for the complex pattern of surface faulting as well as for the distribution of seismicity and possibly for creep behavior. We identify a dense magnetic basement body bounded by the RCF beneath Santa Rosa that we interpret as a strong asperity, likely part of a larger lock patch of the fault to the south. A local increase in frictional resistance associated with the basement body appears to explain distributed fault normal extension above where the RCF intersects the body, earthquake activity around the northern end of the body, notably the 1969 megalitres 5.6 and 5.7 events and aftershocks and creep rates on the RCF that are higher to the north of Santa Rosa than to the south. There is a significant probability of a major earthquake on the RCF in the coming decades and earthquakes associated with the proposed asperity have the potential to release seismic energy into the Cotter Bay Basin beneath Santa Rosa, already known from damaging historical earthquakes to produce amplified ground shaking.